Hello everyone, welcome back to Indiana Kayak Fishing Journal. Today I'm actually going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing an instructional video. I'm going to be showing you how to get good pictures of good sized fish from your kayak. So stay tuned. All right, so this part isn't as important, but if you are catching and releasing fish, you want to have a good size landing net. As you can see, this is a pretty good size pike, and he's sitting there nice and comfortably um, while I'm getting camera equipment ready. So, like I said, that's definitely a must if you're going to want to release fish after you get pictures of them, is to have a nice big landing net. That way they can comfortably sit in the water, and they're breathing the whole time while you're, while you're getting things set up to go. Okay, so first I'm going to go through the gear that you're going to need to be able to take good pictures from your kayak. The very first thing is you need a good mounting space somewhere towards the front of your kayak, but within easy arm's reach of wherever you're sitting. So you need a good mount. The second thing you need is a good actual uh, mount to attach a camera to. This happens to be a uh, Ram Panfish Portrait. There's a lot of different products out there that do the exact same thing. Um, this is just the one that I have. I've had it for years. I've had it for about eight years at this point. But like I said, this basically just slides into that track and screws down. Um, it's nice because it has this extra arm that you can unscrew and you can actually position your camera exactly where it needs to be. Um, so that's also a good functionality to have on the mount itself. And then the last thing is this has a ball that actually screws up into the camera, which attaches this firmly to that mount. That's pretty important as well, obviously. The other good thing about this mount is that it swivels. So when it's actually in here, you can actually just swivel it turn it on. You can set your delay timer on your camera. The delay timer is what you're going to use to get these pictures. And then you can just swivel it back, position it where it needs to be, grab your fish, wait for that delay timer to go, and then get your picture. So it's a fairly easy process. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's not that difficult to take care of. So now I'm going to show you what that actually looks like in practice. So once you're all set up, what this is going to look like is you're going to reach forward, you're going to set the delay timer on your camera, you're going to go ahead and bring your fish aboard. You're going to grab onto them, get them positioned where you need to. You're going to hit the shutter button. You're going to wait the 10 or 15 seconds that you set the delay timer for. It's going to get a picture. Um, maybe do one more, 10 or 15 more seconds. And then if you're going to release a fish, you need to get them back in the water. So go ahead and put them back in the net, put them back in the water. Um, if you're not going to release your fish, it doesn't really matter. At that point, you can take as many pictures as you want. Um, like I said, if it's a fish you're going to release, go ahead and just take like two pictures at the most, put the fish back in the water, check your pictures, make sure you got what you needed, and then go ahead and release the fish. Or if you didn't get a good picture, like if you cut the tail off, or if the picture just doesn't look right for some reason, go ahead and repeat that process until you get a good picture. But like I said, the important part is if you're going to release the fish, make sure that every 30 seconds you're putting them back in the net, giving them some time to breathe. because. When they're out of water, they're not breathing. So here's a quick example with the fish. So you're going to reach forward, set your delay timer. Go ahead and grab your fish and reach up, hit the shutter button. And then you're actually going to, at that point, hold your fish up. If he cooperates a little bit, it's a good sized fish. Wait for the delay timer, get a picture, potentially reach forward, hit the shutter one more time. Hold the fish up again, wait for the delay timer, and then put them back in the water. Okay, here's a first person look at what this process is gonna look like. So you flip your camera around. You set your delay timer. Go ahead and flip it around, get it positioned back in the right place. Go ahead and bring your fish on board. This guy is very, very, uncooperative. Okay, so I got a hold of him there. Go ahead and hit the shutter button. Like I said, that 10 seconds gives you enough time to get the fish positioned properly. And that's it. That's the whole process. Put him back in the water. So some of the other really important things that you want to think about when you're trying to get good pictures 
Um, first and foremost, it's the position of the sun. Luckily today it's nice and overcast and I really don't have to worry about positioning the boat correctly. But if it's bright and sunny, what you want to do is you actually want to get the kayak at the front of the kayak shining towards you. You do not want the sun to be behind you because what that's going to do is that's going to blot out your picture. So actually where you position your kayak in relation to where the sun at is extremely important for pictures. The second thing is you want to hold your fish out a little bit, but you don't want to go crazy with it. You know, that's kind of like a, a meme at this point. You know, you hold your fish out as far as you can to get it to look as big as possible. Like I said, what you want to do is just hold it in a nice natural position. The fish is going to look the best that way. I mean, you don't want it right against your body, but you just want to hold it out, you know, present the fish to the camera and get it to look as good as possible without looking goofy or over exaggerated. And the third and final thing is actually really important and it's something I don't think a lot of people think about when they're taking fish pictures is don't have your hand on the front side of the fish. You know, when you're taking a fish picture, you want to be able to see the fish. You don't want to see your hand. You're not trying to show off how your hand looks. So instead of like having your hand on the front side of the fish towards the camera, just take that hand and rotate it down underneath and try to get it out of the way so that you can get better pictures. Those are my three quick easy tips that'll make your pictures way better. All right, well that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you guys get some better pictures of good sized fish from your kayak.